<coughs> okay, so I'm gonna make another video uh, where you guys watch me edit AMVs because uh, some people picked up some tips from the last one and uh, so learn something or else I've wasted my time. So step number one is to uh, analyze your music and to understand what you're working with. Uh, so like listen to all the different waveforms and all the different aspects because that's going to what determine uh, what kind of edit you're going to be making. So the song that we picked today is going to be Jamieson by Nick Lavelle. Uh, we're going to pick out some important aspects and important waveforms. So one of them are hi-hats. Uh, how the hi-hats are in the song are 16th notes. Uh, they keep going back and forth. Mostly hi-hats are used for flashes, but we're not going to be doing that because we're not trying to give people epilepsy. Uh, next is bass. Bass is uh, pretty good transitions because they're really defined and you can hear them pretty well. Uh, snares make pretty good um, scaling. Uh, also can be used as transitions. And uh, so we're going to be using bass in um, snare the most because uh, uh, hi-hats just won't work in this edit. So it's going to be a pretty calm, mo mace, like, mostly focusing on um, uh, transitions and scaling, which I don't know how to scale. So if you're looking to scale, don't come to me. <clears throat> okay, uh, so step number two is uh, we're just going to cut down our footage. Uh, I chose initial D because I think the song and the uh, the scene and everything works out pretty well. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, cutting down all the unnecessary parts or I'll just be like reorganizing it. So I know exactly what I'm doing uh, once it comes time to uh, add the effects and everything. Okay, so I got everything in order. Uh, uh, everything that I need to make it flow and so here it is Okay, so Obviously, it's a bit weird without the audio and everything uh, So and you see all the extra clips right here. These are just sound effects. So you don't have to worry about them um so right now, we're just gonna go through everything, uh, add some effects. So right now we're gonna add down an adjustment layer, uh, put it to the correct length, uh, copy that. Then we're just gonna add a letterbox. Okay, so how I use my letterbox is uh, I put the ratio to uh, 2.35 to one, I'm pretty sure what it was. and. Uh, and then in the beginning of the edit, I leave it at 1.85 uh, to 1, and then I let it scale up. Or sometimes just make the big jump, and so it gives it like that type of immersive feel. Mm, I think my uh, Final Cut Pro crashed. Uh, um, here, I'm going to restart it, but either way you guys get the point, and I'll just add it later. Uh, okay, so... Once you're done with the letterbox, you're just gonna have another adjustment layer. Uh, with this adjustment layer, what I like to do is um, add a color grade to it, or like a default color grade, the one that you get from, uh, that comes standard with Final Cut Pro. Uh, you find this from the all video um, effects, and then uh, you can see uh, Cool Tunes and uh, Cold Steel. Uh, those two are personally my favorite, cause uh, they add like a night vibe to them, which uh, which I like a lot. So here's uh, Cool Tunes and um, here's um, Cold Steel. It makes the video pretty dark, so I don't think you guys can see it too well. Um, but uh, now I'm just gonna decide which one I want from between each one. Okay, so I went with the cool tunes because uh, it didn't really disrupt the actual footage too much. Uh, it preserved most of the colors and everything. And I uh, still gave the vibe that I really wanted. And so now I'm just going to move down to the transitions. Okay, so for the transitions, um, they're basically all plugins. Uh, unless you use the defaults, which don't really look too good. Um, 
I have it and it, it's in my previous video and the link in the description and it's all free and they're pretty simple to install so right now i'm just gonna add pan rights because i have subtitles and i really don't want to like if i use zoom ins or zoom outs you can basically see like a small chunk of them and uh let's let this render really quick and so pan rights is uh helping the edit flow a lot better it makes my life a lot more simpler it adds to, like a different um aspect to the edit Okay, next I'm gonna start uh, working with the sound effects. I have some extra clips that I want to take uh, some sounds from, and I also have um, Wish sound effects I have from myself, and I'm just gonna input that. Okay, uh, so before I get to the final step, what I'm gonna do is uh, go through what type of sound effects I have for each one. So this one's a whisper wish. Uh, it's pretty soft. This one's a muffled wish. Uh, it's also pretty soft as well. Uh, same thing with this one, and then this one's a large wish, so when the car comes in, uh, it matches together. And then um, next, we have the same wish uh, together. So this one and that one are the same thing. And for the rest, it's a bunch of car noises from the RX-7 and the 8.6. Um, okay, so before I end this, what I'm going to do is just add my watermark. Or not my watermark, it's like my... Um, editing group watermark uh, I, don't have, I don't have a name for it but I do have a watermark for it so I guess that's what matters and so what I'm going to do is just scale it down a bit and we're just going to add it right there uh, there we go we're just going to add some fades into that uh, before I end this off uh, and let you guys see the final product, I just want to know that I'm basically transitioning from like a more comedic type tutorials to like a more professional. Um, not sure if you guys would like to see that, but personally, um, I like making more professional videos because, um, uh, you know, comedic tutorials aren't that um, informational. I would say and so uh, we'll see how um, we'll see how it goes down the road and um, if you guys think I should do more Mimi tutorials or if I should do more uh, professional tutorials uh, just let me know uh, you could DM me uh, with my Instagram I'll link that down below or uh, you could just comment down as well so be sure to subscribe uh, like uh, comment if you have any feedback or, uh, you know, I don't know how to end things. So I'm just going to say see ya and have a great day. Yeah, yeah, hey. Driving through the